Hi, this is Monty Reed, and I wanted to talk to you about one-on-ones and how I do the one-on-one -on -one appointments. And I use a, a program called STP, and I learned this from uh, over 20 years in multi-level marketing. And uh, in multi-level, a lot of companies, uh, they refer to STP as show the plan. And as I watched uh, people, my mentors, I had four mentors that were all earning over $100,000 a month in multi-level and they taught me how to do these appointments, these one-on-one -on -one appointments and the show the plan was the least uh, part of the whole thing and so I've changed STP to actually reflect what we do in those appointments. STP you want to survey the person, you're going to ask them questions you're going to spot their passion, find out what's important to them you're going to share the product because you got to have a good product in order to have a business and then you're going to show the plan and that's you know how we make money in the business and so I take uh, most of my emphasis most of my focus on spot the passion find out about their dream and spend time dream building I had a great experience last week with a guy that I've known for a few years and but I didn't really know him you know and so I scheduled time with him to have coffee and we sat down and I looked at STP first of all STP is survey the person spot their passion share the product and show the plan so I surveyed the person so I asked him where he's from you know you're from around here or somewhere else and asked your family are they around here or are they somewhere else and listen actually care about what uh, what he says you know Gary V Gary Vaynerchuk he says biggest business advice care and so care about what they are saying don't just pretend to listen actually listen and uh, then you, you ask about family you know do you have brothers sisters and uh, occupation what do you do for a living you know most guys uh, they might know where a friend works but they don't actually know what the guy does there so uh, when you you know ask what do you do where do you work you know and actually listen find out how did you end up working there where did you work before why do you you know do you love your job do you hate your job and uh, just listen occupation family occupation recreation what do you do for fun and then find out do you have anything in common and with this guy I found out a couple things we had in common was he liked to play golf I love to play golf and so I thought man I'm gonna talk with this guy about golf and then um, then uh, spot their passion and the easiest way to find out what the passion is, is just ask if you won the lottery would your life be different how would your life be different and it's fun because they usually get a good look on their face and then they start thinking they start dreaming and I asked, you know, would you live in a different place? Are you kidding? Of course, you know. And he started to describe what his house would be like, where he would move to, what neighborhood, the type of house. And uh, even got into some of the furniture, that sort of thing. And uh, then would you drive a different car? Oh, yeah. And, you know, start asking the, uh, more details about the car that they've liked. Uh, when was the last time they test drove one of those? And, and uh, um, spotting their passion. Um, it came up that his parents had traveled and his siblings had traveled but he had never been to these warm tropical climates and I said oh really wow the company has this fantasy getaway trip and I felt like I was slipping into the show the plan part but it was related to his passion so I said hey you know um, when I first got started I went to convention and heard about the contest and 35 days from convention I won the contest so why don't we do that and he's got this look on his face and I said you know on that trip my friends that were on the trip with me didn't like to play golf, so I missed out on playing this amazing golf course. Let's do this. Let's plan to go uh, to convention, win the, the fantasy getaway, and you and I will play golf in a fancy resort somewhere. And he said, okay. And so uh, then uh, <laughs> so we got his convention set up, uh, planned to win the contest, and we're planning our trip to go play golf. And so that's sharing the passion or spotting his passion. And then the next one is share the product. So, um, of course, I always have with me, I usually don't pull them out until this point, but then I share the corn, yogurt, pineapple. If I have time, I'll also mix up some of the chicken sa salad and show them some jar meals. But these three, I've, I've sponsored people with them only tasting the corn. Uh, for him, the corn was all, he, he didn't even need to taste the others, but uh, the corn was what got him sold, and that's what got me sold. And then, uh, as far as sharing the product, the next thing I like to do is whip out a catalog. I know the new one's coming out in a couple weeks, but I'm going to go ahead and show this one anyway. And I like to just thumb through the catalog and show them that we have uh, hundreds of grocery items that they could buy and that our, our program is really just about groceries. And so sharing the product and then uh, talked about how uh, usually what we do with our monthly shipment, we call it the queue is 
we have a program where all you do when you start is just do half of your grocery budget. So right in here in the catalog, uh, it's page nine, the next one I'm not sure where it'll be, but right usually in the front they show this one, two, three groceries to your door. And so this is what I, um, part of sharing the product with them. And what I like to do is I change the numbers. I find out what is your budget and I write the number there. And then half of that is going to be your queue and half you're going to still spend at the grocery store. And I always tell them, uh, nine, nine months to a year later, you're going to end up spending probably 80 or 90% of your grocery budget on Thrive and then the rest will go to the grocery store. And the beautiful thing is we're getting $1,000 a month in free groceries. You'll probably get free groceries too. So uh, that's really fun. Groceries to your door. That's share the product. And then show the plan. Uh, the catalog has some great info right in the beginning. It talks about you can earn uh, free food and why you'd want to host a party, which is part of the business. Uh, this is a job description. So right in the catalog, it tells you all about the business. And I like to add to that, back with uh, sharing the product, we have the Taste of Thrive, which is a $100 a month shipment up here, and this is everything that's in it. And then the Chef Selection, which is the $200 a month. And so we can pick that out. And for him, you know, we do the $300 and we got half of it's already. And we just go right to the application and have him start filling it out. That's what we did over here, start filling out the application. And then we get the date that we want it shipped. And then I just hand it over to him and then he filled out the uh, credit card info. And then as far as show the plan, I like to go to the Inc. Magazine's website and pull a profile on Shelf Reliance and share this where they showed that we uh, did, they uh, set us, picked us as number four in the food and beverage category and most people have never even heard of us. And according to this, in 2011, did 44 million, we're already up to 75 million and growing and out of a you know, $4 trillion dollar uh, food market in the United States, we've got a lot of room for growth. And of course, in the world market for snacks alone, world market for snacks alone is over $370 billion. So here, health effects of freeze-dried food. There's some studies here from the Mayo Clinic. Mayo Clinic found that freeze-dried food has the same uh, same nutrients as fresh picked, which makes it fresher than the grocery store. We've got the fresher than fresh uh, card. You can show them if you want. But on to showing the plan, this is the consultant starter kits and we just figure out which one you want to get and uh, this uh, three ways to thrive. This is how you get started in the thrive business. Three ways to thrive. Join the queue, which is the monthly shipment just to get half of your grocery budget to get started with. Host the queue and uh, be host, host parties and uh, set up a queue. Become a consultant and have a queue. And then he said, well, well how do we do the business? The next step is to get out a piece of paper and start asking, okay, who do you know? Uh, and we literally make a list. Who's your family? Who do you know that eats food? Who's a foodie? Uh, who do you know that would like to get free food? Who do you know that would like to get some free money? Let's go talk to them and find out who they know that eat food, want free food, want free money. And that's how we build a business. So this is Monty Reed. I uh, hope this is helpful for you building your business. Make sure you check with your active and growing upline before you implement any of these business building strategies. This has worked for us. Uh, over 20 years of multi-level marketing experience in our other company. We had over a thousand people in our downline before we stopped counting. And now we're starting to apply all of those things to thrive and we're very excited about this. Multi-level's got to have consumables and groceries it's about as consumable as it gets. So this is Monty Reed. Have a great day and uh, make sure that you implement, if you want, the STP. Remember, STP is survey the person, spot their passion, which I think is the most important, share the product, and show the plan. This is Monty Reed. Have a great day.